What is a drivetrain? Let's start simple. A drivetrain is like the chain of command between a truck's engine and its wheels. It's what takes the power from the engine and delivers it to the ground, moving all that weight forward or backward. In semi-trucks, which can weigh upwards of 80,000 pounds, that system has to be tough, smart, and reliable. You wouldn't use a tricycle to pull a freight train, right? There are four main types, front-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, and four-wheel drive. Let's get into each, what they do best, and where they struggle. Front-wheel drive means the engine powers the front wheels. This setup is compact, cheaper to build, and offers good traction on slippery roads because the engine sits right over the drive wheels. In your mom's hatchback, perfect. But on a semi-truck, not a chance. Semi-trucks need to haul insane weight. Front-wheel drive can't handle that kind of stress. The front wheels would be overwhelmed, trying to both steer and pull 40 tons. It's like asking someone to drive and push a bus at the same time. So yeah, front wheel drive and heavy duty trucking don't mix. You'll almost never see it. Now we're talking. Rear wheel drive is the go-to for most semi-trucks. The engine sends power to the rear wheels through a long drive shaft and differential. These trucks don't push, they pull. The back wheels take care of the heavy lifting, while the front wheels focus on steering. Why is this so good? Two words, power and stability. When you're dragging a 40-foot trailer across the country, you want predictable control. Rear-wheel drive gives you that. It handles torque like a champ and provides smoother acceleration under load. But rear-wheel drive does have a weak spot, traction. With less weight on the rear wheels, slippery roads can be tricky ice and rain turn highways into skating rinks, and rear-wheel drive trucks can lose grip if they're not loaded properly. So while rear-wheel drive is fantastic for dry pavement and hauling loads, it's not ideal for every condition. All-wheel drive is like the overachiever of the drivetrain world. It's always on, always thinking, using sensors and computers, it constantly shifts power between the front and rear wheels, depending on which ones have grip. Got one wheel slipping on an icy patch? All-wheel drive sends power elsewhere. Rain, snow, gravel, all-wheel drive handles it all without you lifting a finger. It's common in crossovers and delivery trucks that face changing road conditions. But here's the catch, it's complex and expensive. There are a lot more moving parts and more stuff can break. Maintenance costs go up and fuel economy goes down. Plus it doesn't have the low range gearing needed for truly tough jobs like off-roading or hauling up a muddy trail. In semi-trucks, all-wheel drive is rare. It's sometimes used in specialty applications. Think airport fire trucks or mountain rescue rigs, but not for your average big rig. This is the tough guy in the room. Four-wheel drive systems are built for extremes. They don't just automatically adjust power like all-wheel drive. They let you decide when to unleash all four wheels. Most systems are part-time, meaning you drive in rear-wheel drive by default and switch to four-wheel drive when things get gnarly. There are different modes, 2H, normal driving, 4H for speed and grip, and 4L, low gear, high torque. In 4L, the drivetrain multiplies the engine's torque, giving the truck the strength to crawl over rocks or out of deep ruts. Imagine climbing a mountain in slow motion, but with 80,000 pounds on your back. Four-wheel drive also lets you use locking differentials. When things get really rough, like one wheel spinning in air and the other stuck in mud, locking diffs make sure both wheels spin together. No more wasted energy, just raw, brutal pull. But four-wheel drive isn't without downsides. You can't use it all the time. 
On dry pavement, it can actually hurt your drivetrain because there's no room for wheel speed differences during turns. Also, it's heavy and complex. So again, it's not for every truck, but when you're off-road or deep in the wild, nothing else will do. So when to use what? This is where it gets practical. If you're running cross country on paved roads, rear wheel drive is your best friend. Simple, strong, and fuel efficient. Driving in areas with unpredictable weather, slick roads, or hills, all wheel drive is your ticket to peace of mind, especially for shorter delivery trucks or city rigs. Off-road, logging trails, oil fields, or military duty, four wheel drive all day long. Nothing else gives you that level of control and traction. And front wheel drive? Keep that in the parking lot with the sedans and minivans. Different drivetrains mean different maintenance headaches. Rear wheel drive systems are straightforward, just keep the drive shaft and differential in check. All wheel drive and four wheel drive, they need love. Transfer cases, multiple differentials, extra fluids, it's a list. And mismatched tires, that's a recipe for disaster, especially in all wheel drive or four wheel drive, where different tire sizes can damage the whole system. Also, weight matters. In front wheel drive vehicles, the front tires wear out fast. Rear wheel drive offers better balance under load. All wheel drive and four wheel drive systems need tire rotations more often to keep wear even. So what's the verdict? Rear wheel drive wins for long haul trucking, no contest. It's strong, efficient, and reliable. All-wheel drive is great for regional delivery trucks that deal with changing weather and terrain. Four-wheel drive is the only choice for off-road chaos. It's the big dog you can call when all else fails. Front-wheel drive? Let's not even go there, unless you're hauling groceries instead of gravel. Now that you've cracked the code on drivetrains, don't stop here. Tap the next video popping up where we show how semi-trucks battle extreme weather without skipping a beat.